Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is the day the Super A is raffled off. It's a little bit dark in here. Forgive me for that. This is where we park it during the games, or well, while it's not the games. He's a little dusty. I'll turn the gas back on. If you are new to the channel, welcome. But this is this is a tractor that I bought, restored. I shouldn't say restored. I repainted, fixed quite a few things, but then uh, raffle. I donated to the school to raffle off, so it's for a fundraiser for the school. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice tractor, real nice tractor. I've got a lot of work into it. Oh, she might be out of gas. Well, I got a special treat here. <laughs> yes, it does. This is Fred Ruggles. Fred is a fellow collector of antiques, we'll say. Maybe not the yellow ones, but he has owned one, at least one in the, in the, in the past. But Fred, tell a story about this tractor, how it came about to this school, if you don't mind. Okay, back in probably 1970, the new school was opened up in 69 and we accumulated a lot more grass and we was building the football field. Probably the football field was built in 72. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I seen an ad in the paper and this tractor was for sale in Unionville and uh, it was, I got a the tractor, the, the blade for the front of it, a bean puller, a plow, and a postal digger, I think, come with it for $600. Yep. <laughs> and we and put something. a mower underneath it and, and uh, hired a couple kids. Right. So, Fred, back, then, back in the day, you worked for the school. Yeah. You, you, far was, you worked for the school, but you also farmed. Yeah, I was back. working maintenance at the school. At the time. Yep. Mm-hmm. And Lyle Henderson was, uh, well, he he was a kid that worked for the school, and uh, he 
pretty much mowed all the grass with that tractor. Yep. In both schools. Right. Huh. There was a lot took place back then. We uh, built the athletic field. And, uh, Mm -hmm. and it's just like it's happening today, there was a lot of people that helped out, right? Had fundraisers, yep, donated money, right? And uh, it's up through the years, we've had a lot of that's why we have such a beautiful facility, right? Because yeah. of the taxpayers and the people, yeah, it takes, uh, takes an army sometimes, but a lot of volunteers, and yep, it uh, yep. And a lot of people proud of their community, which is, which is, which is nice. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate that, Fred. You know, it's just uh, somebody's gonna have a nice little tractor. So. Yeah. For I, uh, twenty, for twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Have a, a tractor that's worth about fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. They tell me. Maybe I'd say I'd say a little bit more with the brand new tires and yeah, everything, with the but brand new tires. Yeah. Uh, but uh yeah beautiful but uh, yeah that's the uh, fun. it's fun to drive yeah so but while i'm right here this is the, the banner they made with uh all the people that helped donate to the to the uh uh this little fundraiser here i'm gonna go a little bit slower here so you can read everybody on there oh yeah but uh yeah that was that was pretty nice i had nine nine people uh help donate you know to this you know steve's tires course did the tires um triple r collision helped straighten out the hood and the grill for me i painted the whole thing so anything any imperfections is my fault uh, tommy and uh lajoy donated the lights and some other parts some gauges uh josh mahalski donated uh the, some front end parts for me and uh, my brother and his family and my cousin patrick and his family uh donated money towards this and uh, also john ostra from austria equipment over, I think that's Jawajniak is where he's at. He donated some parts as well. So I appreciate all those people um, that helped out. Also, Auto Value and Carol donated the battery that's in there. So, so you're getting a tractor that's just about like new. Yep, yep, just about. Yep. You know, I didn't touch the motor or the rear or anything, but it runs so well. Yep. <laughs> it's, you know, it wasn't, uh, I didn't even want to touch it, you know, because just because it runs so well. But uh, yeah, somebody's getting a nice tractor. Here I appreciate comes one of the former first football players that ever played for Kingston. Yeah. He was on the first team. Hey, Louie. Still selling tickets? Yeah. You want to buy some tickets, Louie? Yep. One. All right. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, if you direct your attention to the track, we have Mr. Fred Ruggles with us and Mr. Dan Rail. Um, I'm going to give you a little background story here. Mr. Ruggles is going to tell you how we came about getting the tractor in the first place. And then Mr. Rail was the one that purchased it from the school, had it refinished, redone, refurbished, however you want to word it. And we've been selling raffle tickets, and we're going to draw that number, that winner out here in just a minute. So, Mr. Ruggles, if you'd give us a little background on the tractor. Okay. I was working at the school at the time uh, that the new school opened and we was building the athletic field and we had acquired a lot more grass so we needed a little bigger lawnmower so I see an, an advertising on a little A tractor in Unionville, Michigan so I went up and I bought it for $600 and we had about five different pieces of equipment with it. We put a, a mower underneath it and Lyle Henderson and a lot of kids mowed a lot of grass with it. And then, uh, I don't know, it just hung around for a long while and then they sold it. And I think Dan Rail bought it. And when I look back, I've seen everything built around here and what a beautiful facility we have and it's been a things like this that's made it possible you know people getting together and uh, putting on fundraisers and we probably got as nice as a facility as there is in Oklahoma, Michigan you know this was a cinder track when it started 
and, uh, and if you look at the trees, me and Les Rossman planted them trees by about 1973 or four in there. So that's how tall you can't see them, but that's how tall they could go in that time. So I'm going to give it to Dan, and he's had some people that's come forward and helped with this. Uh, there's new tires on it. It's worth between fifteen and two thousand dollars to factor view. Somebody's going to own it for twenty bucks. <laughs> Well, I'd like to thank my wife. She was a big part of this too. Um, there, was, there was, including my, myself and my wife, there was eight other people that either donated money, parts, or time. Uh, my brother and his wife, Bob, from Germany and Bobby, Rail donated some money. Pat and Rhonda Taylor donated some money. Uh, Triple R Collision uh, did some work on the, the hood and stuff with me. I painted everything, but. Uh, uh, Steven's tires donated all four tires on that tractor. Uh, Tom Majoy from uh, Premier Lawn and Garden, a bunch of parts. Uh, Josh and Treasure Mahalski from Fort Oak, Michigan donated some parts for that tractor. Uh, and also uh, John Ostra from Ostra Equipment, which is the Case IH dealer on the other side of the state, donated a bunch of parts. And if there's anybody, oh, Auto Value and Carol donated the battery. So I don't think I forgot anybody else, but uh, it was. It started out as a project that I was just doing to help out the school and it turned into a community project. So uh, thank you to all those people that helped make this possible. So as Mr. Ruggles mentioned, these facilities over the years have improved because of you people. Being a part of our community, paying your taxes, donating money, spending your time, and it's greatly appreciated because when we have good facilities, our, our student athletes are able to succeed at a high rate. So, without further ado here, Mr. Ruggles is going to pick the winner. Oh, there's a pop. Uh-oh. My name was on that. <laughs> I can. Okay. So the winner is Mr. Derek Scott from Port Hope, Michigan. So he was one of the people I'm sure that had something to do with donating. So he is our winner. And thank you for everyone that participated. We unfortunately weren't able to sell all the tickets, but we did sell about half. So um, it's a, about a $5,000 windfall that we're going to put into the press box along with another donation that we've gotten. So we'll update the football press box with the money. All right. Thank you all very much. Okay. Well, congratulations to Derek Scott. Wow. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I actually do know Derek and, uh, we'll, we'll be, uh, I'll take you along and when we deliver that tractor to him it's going to be in a, about a week or so is when he uh, uh we talked and when he's gonna be able to accept it he's gonna make some room and uh for his new farm all super a so i'm glad it's going to uh you know somebody that uh, actually i do know and it's going to be added to a huge tractor collection um, yeah it's pretty good size tractor collection actually Derek's collection has been on the channel uh one of my uh um i did a video on his collection oh i don't think it was a year ago it might have only been six months ago um you can probably try to find that video i don't know how to make a link you know up here i don't know how to do that yet so anyways hey i hope you enjoyed the channel or hope you enjoy the channel and i hope you enjoy this video of um, a little bit of background of that tractor and uh, I don't know it's, it, it is kind of bittersweet for me it's uh, I don't I don't want to say it's like giving away one of my kids but it's definitely giving away one of my dogs how's that <laughs> so anyways hey thanks for watching appreciate you watching we'll see you in the next one